Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jason with Rock Hunting Life here. We are at Baxter's Harbor, Nova Scotia. It's a beautiful place. Nice waterfall over there. Got some nice basalt structures over here. It's late October, so two days to Halloween. We got a Halloween miracle. All three boys are with us. <laughs> it's been a while since all, th all four of us have been out together. So it was 20 degrees in Nova Scotia all October up until today. Today it's like 10 degrees, so it's a little little chilly, but it's beautiful, sun's out, not a cloud in the sky. Uh, couldn't ask for a better day. And uh, we're gonna go over here, there's some, some sea maggot over here. Uh, if you look, watched our videos from previous trips here, there's some nice colorful, uh, we call it jelly sea maggot, it's red and green. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go look for some of that, anything loose on the beach. Tide's on its way in, so we only got about two hours, so plenty of time. We'll come over there, explore some of the, the basalt features. Might check the waterfall out. Come along with us. There's a big old seam here, super thick. It's got the blue and the greens in it. There's some green here. And there's some red up there. Someone's been chipping at that. But that's a nice big thick four inch seam there. Trying to transitions from red to blue. I have a nice piece of this type of material at home from one of the trips here. I polished it up. I'll put a little link to that video up here. But uh, that's a nice big seam there. Just to give you a, a scale, there's my hand. In comparison to that seam, pretty big. Got a little mini waterfall here. Water seeping out of the cliff. And at the very bottom, there's a quartz seam. Pretty big one size of my foot there so these seams run these calcedony quartz seams run kind of parallel to the cliff face so there'll be more of them coming out up here tiny seam running parallel to the face here it's got that white red and blue in it here's a seam that's kind of on the cusp of flaking off and there's some opal in there some of that indigo opal that I like it's all opalized some neat colors in there this seam goes it terminates here but then it picks up again up here and it, it's that nice it's one of my favorite seams in all Nova Scotia I'll show you guys here in a second so this seam here is one of my all-time, as I was mentioning, one of my all-time favorite sea maggot seams in Nova Scotia. And I'll tell you why. As we get over here, uh, it turns, gets thicker and it turns into a nice red and green. So we'll just walk up here. We're going to be careful because the rocks are really slippery today. Get over here. 
But I have a really nice example from this scene. Nice specimen that I polished up. Nice big thick one. And uh, yeah, it's it's relatively untouched. No, nobody comes and tries to beat it up or anything. I can still see it's pretty good right there. Travis is standing next to it. So let me climb up. Oh, did you get, is there a piece off? Let's see it. Yeah, a small piece. And it's got the red and green in there. That's a nice little tumbler piece. Nice. We'll keep that one. Is this the first kind of day? Sure, first. See the seam is nice. It's about two, one to two inches thick in places, and it transitions from green to blue to red, and I just love the seam. Look, it's like all the colors here. It's all the colors. It looks like this. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a really cool seam. Some really nice reds there, mixed with the blues. So this That's, is like this is amazing. this is like our piece at home. That we polished. I'll show you that piece up here right now. But it came from this seam. See a transition from the green here. Goes from green and into red. Just beautiful. What do you say? Beautiful material. Should I throw it away? There? No, keep it. All the pieces that I find, I could bring to school, Dad. Here's a nice little seam that's uh, broken off, but you can see a little bit of that color. Tiny one. Good tumbler though. So I was able to get this nice piece out here. It was sitting in here like this and it was kind of on an edge there and it was cracked. So I was picking away, picking away with my fingers. You see all these little pieces I picked out and uh, I was able to get it out of there. It's fractured enough. It's it's fractured a little bit, but you can see it's it's a nice intact piece. I could probably cut a face off that right there, but it's got that nice green and blue transition and the white on the borders, so it might be a nice little piece. I was able to pry this piece out with my hands. It's only a little piece, but it's got some, got some cool colors going on in it. It's got the uh, reds and whites. That might look nice in the tumbler. Possibly even just cutting a window off it. This stuff is not obtainable. I don't really like beating this stuff out of the rock anyway. Um, if I can pull it out with my fingers, you know, sometimes it's fractured up. I can pull it out with my fingers, but 
it, especially if it's high, if it's raised up high enough. This just is quite isn't high enough. Uh, it'll take a couple more years probably of the beach wearing this off before you can pull that out. But <clears throat> yeah, I have some stuff. I have more of this at home. And uh, maybe in the coming weeks, what I'll do is we'll, uh, we'll do some polishing of this material and working with some of it because I do have some at home that I haven't worked with yet. And uh, just to show you guys what it looks like, but because it's it's some of my favorite stuff to look for in Nova Scotia. I just love the green and red colors in this. It's awesome. What do we have here? found a piece of what looks like a big piece of silica it's got some translucency to it here it's not from the seams up there where we were it's something different I'm gonna get it wet see what it looks like wet here so yeah it's definitely it's like clear calcedony here in the bottom and it's got some mossy some mossy silica up here so that's going to be a cutter for sure. I'm going to cut that one. So we'll take it home, cut it in this video, and show you what it looks like. Tide's on its way in pretty fast now. We're gonna head through the arch here and then be on our way. We made it just in time. Our land bridge is about to get covered by the tide. It's sweeping in pretty quick. Careful of white rocks, guys. You gotta be careful in the Bay of Fundy. You can get trapped by the tides pretty quick. Okay guys, that does it for our Baxter Harbor video this year. And uh, as you can see, we just made it across. Our land bridge is now covered. Tide's coming in real quick. As always, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like our content. This might be one of our last rock hunting trips this year. Might try to get out at another time uh, before Christmas. As always, everyone have a great week. We'll catch you in the next one.